Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will show some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Pro. So Samsung Galaxy J7 Pro comes with the latest uh, Android version, Android 7.0 and it comes with this new Samsung UI. So this is one of the really good UIs available with lots of features included. So in this video we will share some of the tips and tricks and some of the hidden features you will find on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Pro. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first let's have a look at the home screen. So if you just uh, uh, do a two finger swipe, you can uh, get hold of some of the options uh, for home screen. So you can see the home screen settings. So just click this and you can uh, uh, do a bit of layout changes, home screen layout. You can uh, with home screen and apps or home screen only. So if you want multiple home screens, you can uh, do for home screen only then that will uh, enable multiple home screens like uh, other Chinese OEMs uh, but if you want home screen and app list separately uh, you can enable that as well you can just uh, go here and apply it and uh, you also have the option to change the home grid so right now it's uh, five icons you can see four by four four by five and five by five can be selected then uh, you can also see app button so there is a dedicated app uh, for app drawer so if you want uh, uh, the app button to be enabled you can see that's the app button if you don't want the app button you can also enable uh, the launcher without the app button then there is an option called to hide apps so what it does is it will just hide the apps uh, it will not be locked or protected it will just hide the apps and uh, you can select all the apps which you want to hide say for example i'll just uh, hide uh, anti to benchmarking app now if you go to the home screen uh, let's go back to the home screen and now you can see that those apps are hidden and cannot be accessed so that's the app list uh, hiding of app list now let's open the notification center so if you open the notification center uh, you can see this is a really good layout a uh, lot of additional icons are included now you can also do a bit of customization click the three dots and uh, button order you can just reorder them if you want to reorder just uh, drag and uh, rearrange to whichever place you want there are two screens available and uh, one screen can accommodate almost 12 icons and if you want uh, to remove a particular icon from that list so just hold and uh, bring it to the bottom and you click done that will be saved so whatever is available in the bottom section will not be available in uh, the notification toggles uh, only which is available on the top panel will be available once you click done so now cl click done and you are back to the normal mode uh, you have uh, just done the editing of the notification center now let's go to the settings panel and here we have a lot of additional options first let's go to the display so in the, in the display uh, one of the important aspects is blue light filter so once you enable this this will reduce the eye strain if you are uh, reading a lot of material on uh, the display i mean on the phone you can use the blue light filter especially when using uh, the phone in the night blue light filter is quite useful it reduces the eye strain by limiting the amount of blue light emitted by the screen now you can also ch uh, choose the screen mode so this phone comes with a super amoled display so you can uh, uh change the color balance of the device we have adaptive display amoled cinema amoled photo and the basic mode you, you can also change the color uh, balance you can uh, change the red green and blue options and uh, choose the color option those that's an additional option available with the amoled panel now if you want to change the phone size and the phone uh, available on this device you can just select this and you can uh, scroll down and you can see some of the uh, funkier phones available and if you want to change these phones you can uh, download uh, additional phones you can see that there is an option to additional uh, download additional phones so there are lots of phones uh, available some of them are paid some of them are free you can download additional phones uh, from this option then there is also easy mode option so the easy mode again uh, we have seen on most of the samsung phone uh, easy mode uh, will uh, uh, have a uh, bigger screen layout and uh, customizations uh, uh, to the home screen whatever you have done will be discarded and this will have large icon sizes so this is uh, something which is useful for elderly people uh, and a bigger uh, icon size allows them to easily access uh, the most basic functions on the phone now let's go to sound and vibration so sound and vibration one useful feature is the vibrate pattern so generally uh, what we uh, see on most of smartphone is the basic uh, vibration pattern now if you want to change the vibration pattern you can uh, select a uh, vibration pattern uh, there are four of them available apart from the basic one so based on uh, the whatever is available here uh, the vibration pattern changes whenever you receive a call or notification so that option is available in this device 
Now if you scroll down there is an option called uh, uh, sound quality and effects so select this and you can enable the equalizer on the device so uh, some basic uh, equalizer also included and also have this custom option so you can uh, go to the advanced option and uh, uh, see how uh, you can change the equalizer some uh, uh, additional options are also included when you plug in the earphone so that's something really good for music lovers you can have a custom uh, equalizer and uh, get uh, get better uh, audio output from this device now under wallpapers and themes uh, that's self-explanatory you can create your samsung account and uh, download additional wallpapers themes icon packs so there are lots of uh, ones included some of them are free some of them are paid you can download these uh, once you created your samsung account now let's go to the advanced features so here there's a plethora of modes and uh, options included first let's have a look at the lock and mask apps so this option allows you, you to uh, enable locking of the apps you can either lock apps using the fingerprint scanner or you can use the pin so we'll just uh, use the fingerprint scanner and you can see uh, you can enable fingerprint scanner locking app lock type can be fingerprint and pattern and then uh, if you come back uh, you can see the list of apps uh, you can uh, uh, lock so lock apps so you can add uh, the list of apps you want to lock say for example if i want to lock asphalt 8 uh, then chrome so we are just done two apps are locked now and uh, now going back going back to the home screen and now if you open chrome so you can see an icon now if i open chrome you have to either enter the fingerprint or the pin which you have set for the locking of apps so this is a pretty useful if you want to securely uh, uh, i mean if you want to protect your apps from other people using it uh, personal apps like facebook whatsapp etc can be locked using this option and when you enter the fingerprint scanner it will open the chrome next step in the uh, option is to one handed mode so if you just enable the one handed mode so you can see that uh, you can reduce the screen size swipe up diagonal, uh, diagonally from either bottom corner uh, of the screen to reduce the uh, screen size so uh, you can uh, either reduce the screen size by gesture that's from uh, swiping from th uh, the bottom corner or using the home key for three times so that's the option so we'll just uh, show how to uh, reduce the screen size so just swipe from here you can see now it has been reduced and if you go to settings uh, you can uh, again change whatever uh, size you want so that's how you can reduce uh, the screen size with a one handed mode option then there is quick uh, launch of camera open the camera by pressing the home uh, key twice in quick succession so that's uh, pretty useful if you want to quickly open the camera and capture images then uh, this option should be turned on then there is multi window so we have already seen multi window on android by default that means you can run two uh, apps at the same time so multi window is available here as well so there are two instances of multi window one is split screen view and one is pop up uh, action view so we'll just show you both so first let's go to a uh, split screen uh, view action so uh, once you enable just uh, press and hold uh, the multitasking option and you can see the split screen uh, uh, window in action so right now the settings is on the top uh, panel now uh, the samsung uh, settings panel is on the top panel now let's open the app store so now you can see that uh, uh, one window is for settings which is independent and the other one is for uh, the uh, play store so that's how the split screen works it works uh, really well and if you just uh, uh, tap on this and press and hold the multi window is uh, disabled you can also go to multi window from uh, the home screen you can just uh, see here uh, from the apps just hold and uh, apps and then uh, drag and drop to the top panel to enable multi window so that's how you enable multi window then the other option is uh, we'll just uh, show that option as well so if if i am opened uh, some of the apps say for example i am opened uh, uh, facebook uh, and just swipe from the top corner and you can uh, uh, change the size of uh, the window so that's how you uh, change the size and you can uh, drag and rearrange uh, on top of any window say for example if i open any other window this window will be on top of that so that's how uh, the, uh, the multi window works so one is uh, to split the screen the other one is to reduce the window size of the apps then there is smart alert option that means uh, your phone will vibrate when you pick it up uh, if you have any missed call or messenger that uh, that means uh, it, will, it will send a notification that you have something new on this device instead of actually looking up uh, it will show a smart alert 
then there is dual apps uh, i mean uh, dual messenger whatever is called so it will uh, uh, enable two separate accounts for the same app say for example if you want two facebook accounts to be running simultaneously you can enable uh, uh, this for facebook this will be available only for social apps like facebook skype uh, messenger i mean uh, uh, whatsapp messenger so some of the apps only will be available so supported apps will appear here after you install them so right now we have installed only facebook and skype that's the reason these are the apps only showing up here then we have the panic mode in case of an emergency uh, it will dial uh, 112 or uh, you can send an sos message um, when you press the power key three times uh, it will automatically do the panic mode now if you go to the lock screen and security we have this uh, a normal option of uh, unlocking the device with a uh, uh, secure uh, fingerprint or password that's available then there is always on display so always on display uh, we can turn it on from here so it will show a clock or uh, a calendar on the display whenever the uh, device is turned off we'll just show you always on display so there you go that's always on display so this will consume additional battery you can do some basic customization and also it will show you uh, calls and uh, sms or other notification whenever it appears but when you uh, keep the phone in the pocket the always on display will be turned off automatically based on the proximity sensor but this will definitely consume some additional battery so if you are not really worried about battery you can turn on this feature then under the lock screen and security we have this secure folder so secure folder is a really useful option in uh, 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 samsung uh, devices so what it creates a completely different environment for your apps and uh, your personal files this will be a separate uh, area wherein you can access your apps uh, and folders completely different from the normal area so so this is a secure folder and you can see some of the apps which are available in the secure folder you can also add apps or files uh, say for example if i want a particular app here you can also download from the play store or the galaxy apps or if i want a, a completely private account for my facebook you can add it here and only these apps will be available in the secure folder and other apps uh, which are not available in the secure folder cannot be accessed here and uh, whatever is available in the secure folder cannot be accessed outside as well so this is a completely secure or protected area where you have a set of apps which are completely different from uh, your uh, the regular home screen and this will be accessible only if you enter the fingerprint or the password now if you go to the accessibility options uh, if you go to accessibility hearing option you can see there is an option to enable camera uh, flashlight whenever you receive notification so once you turn uh, this on if you receive any call or notification the camera backlight uh, will flash so that's an additional notification available but it will definitely consume more battery but it is a quite a decent notification option available then if you scroll down uh, from the notification center in the quick toggle there are some useful options like uh, ultra data saving mode so when you turn on ultra data saving mode uh, the background data will be automatically blocked and uh, only specific apps uh, will be allowed and compression uh, of data takes uh, place using opera max so that's how it works so ultra data saving mode if you turn on limit you can uh, set the limit for background apps and which are uh, background apps are available uh, in this list uh, that only can access uh, data rest all uh, data access will be stopped that means if you are running on low uh, data uh, package then you can uh, better turn on this option another option is uh, uh, the s power planning mode so this uh, will uh, help you reduce uh, the battery usage when, once you turn this on we can reserve battery for calls only so that means uh, uh, if uh, a particular limit is reached that means below 15 percent is a threshold limit so once the battery reaches that uh, uh, limit uh, it will be reserving the battery life for calls and messages alone so uh, no other app option will be available during that time and you can extend the battery life uh, using the s power planning mode and also there is an option when there is no battery you can forward the calls uh, which you receive on this device i mean uh, this number uh, which is uh, when the battery is critically low you can forward it to some other number so these are the options in the uh, s power planning mode so these were some of the really useful uh, tips and tricks and uh, some of the hidden features available on the samsung galaxy j7 pro with android 7.2 and the new samsung ui hope this video was useful if you have this device do try out these features uh, there are lots of features included uh, in this ui it's a really feature rich ui uh, it comes with a lot of customization options as well and if you have the device don't forget to try out these options so thanks for watching do hit the like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos hope to see you in our next video have a great day